Centuries for Billy Root and Adam Live as match drawn. Billy Root was in control for the visitors against Yorkshire before April Snow blanketed the Headingley outfield and brought play to a premature end. His good work had his side heading into day four at 161 for four, their lead now 298. Root and his captain Chris Cook picked up where they'd left off. Their partnership was worth 150 when Best disappeared back over his own head for six. A more sedate shot for one took the score to 200, Yorkshire's hopes fading. And then a moment that had happened countless times in their back garden, then played out on a professional stage. Billy Root reached his first century of the season off the bowling of his older brother Joe, the knock taking the lead up towards 400 runs. Their partnership was worth over 200 runs when Cook found the legside boundary to join his colleague on 100, and then declared, with the score 241 for 4, setting Yorkshire the target of 379 to win. The unbroken fifth wicket partnership was worth 212 as they strolled back to the dressing room. Root the younger will have been pleased with his performance and enjoyed getting one over on his England captain brother. A sedate start to the Yorkshire innings was broken after just eight overs. Van der Hoekten rabbed Kola Kadmor on the pads. Lowton followed, LBW to Hogan, the loss of his wicket signalling lunch, with the hosts stumbling at 32 for two, still 347 shy of their target. After lunch, Joe Root picked up the baton, hitting Dan Douthwaite for a couple of boundaries. But he'd be unable to replicate the form of his younger brother. The bowler with the last laugh, the England captain removed for 16. Brook and Lythe stabilised the innings enough to get their side past the 50 mark. Yorkshire now enjoying some success in the middle. Lythe reached his half century shortly after guiding Yorkshire past three figures. Van der Hoekten pushed back down the ground to reach the figure. Brooke would go on to join him, Glamorgan without things their own way for the first time in the day. Lithe looked imperious as the score moved to 173 for three at the tea break. There would be no further contribution from Brooke though, Hogan with another shortly after the restart. Lithe remained, the former England opener was unmoved and his innings came to fruition with a century off 166 balls. He'd taken his side to the cusp of 200, with Glamorgan's odds of picking up a win lengthening with the shadows. They breached that total with ease, Tattersall the man to get them there, and the match starting to meander towards the close. That came soon after, the score 220 for four, handshakes all round, and the spoils shared. Billy Root won the battle of the brothers in this game, his turn granted Glamorgan dominance, Lythe's reply shut down the visitor's hope. Yorkshire will make the long trip south to face Kent at the Spitfire Ground next week, while Glamorgan hosts Surrey at Sophia Gardens.